Hello everybody, we've got an interestingly new episode for you here today. We decided on doing a tech review of what is perhaps one of the most versatile gadgets available in the market, the Rode Wireless Go microphones. So if you're a YouTuber or a blogger, this would be of particular interest to you. We've been using this for the last couple of weeks now and we thought we should tell you a thing or two about what we felt. So with, without much ado, let's get on with it. So here it is, the Rode Wireless Go microphone. The packaging, I must say, is very impressive. Uh, and also, I must tell you that this is made, this device is made in Australia. It's certainly not Chinese. And that, to me, is a great deal of satisfaction. Now, mind you, uh, we've used this so many times over the last couple of weeks. Uh, but we've packed it in exactly the same way that was shipped to us, just so that we could show you the contents of the packaging. And, and that's very interesting, too. So. Uh, opening this little nice package here, what do we have? There's another box, very fancy looking, nice one here. Very good quality too, must tell you. Uh, the first thing that you need to look at is the warranty card. Please make sure that you keep it safe. Uh, this is very handy. Uh, so what are we next? Uh, a pair of devices here, uh, one of which is the uh, transmitter, the other is the receiver. Uh, you can tell the difference because the receiver has uh, a fancy looking display on it which indicates signal strength, uh, battery life and sound quality. All right, what's next? We have a pair of uh, windshields which will help you uh, when you're shooting outdoors in order to minimize wind noise. Very essential and handy. Uh, then there's a, there's a 3.5 mm jack which will help you connect uh, your receiver to a DSLR camera or an action camera, whichever that you may be using. Uh, there's of course a pair of C-type USB cables. Very thoughtful of Rode to have uh, included this in the packaging. Unlike many new age phones uh, these days uh, where you get no cables or chargers, please remember not to use a fast charger as it's not recommended. It takes about 60 minutes for the devices each to be charged up to full capacity and uh, Rode claims that you would get a battery life of about seven hours on each device. And uh, finally, there's this very sleek looking pouch, very handy indeed, that you can use in order to be able to pack up all of these uh, in one go, especially if you're traveling outdoors. Easily the sleekest and the smallest models available when you compare to others in the wireless microphone category and you can see why. Now the build quality is fantastic. I must rate 10 on 10. Uh, and of course these are clip type models as you can see, one of which goes onto your camera and the other onto your collar. Well the transmitter here uh, as you can see has a power button and uh, on top of this is the, there's a provision for you to insert a lavalier mic. There's also the inbuilt microphone uh, and there are these smart LED indicators that are available. And on the uh, receiver, uh, there is a, a button for sound quality and also for pairing, which are the only two buttons which are different uh, from the ones on the transmitter. And there's a provision for you to, to insert your 3.5 mm jack uh, to connect to uh, other devices. Rode offers a range of 70 meters in between both devices, which means both of these devices could be about 70 meters uh, apart from one another and you'd still be able to broadcast quite well or so. That's what Rode claims. Now I know and it is a fact that there are many less expensive brands out there that offer you a higher range. But in order to be able to tell you why we recommend Rode, we will have to go and do a quick sound check and let's get on with it. So up until now, you've been hearing us on the Boya BY-M1 lav mic, which as you can see is wired and that's the sound check for you, just so that you know. Now let's check out the Rode Go Wireless. So Rode claims that you can operate at a range of 70 meters between the transmitter and the receiver. 
and we are here to be able to test it for you. So right now I'm about 10 meters or 30 feet uh, away from the, uh, the receiver and this is a quick sound check. Approximately uh, 60 feet or 20 meters away from the uh, receiver uh, doing a quick sound check. A distance of 40 meters or about 120 feet approximately uh, away from the receiver doing a quick sound check. About 60 meters uh, or an approximately 180 feet away from the uh, receiver. Okay, I'm at uh, 70 meters or an approximately 210 feet away from the uh, receiver. This is the official range uh, that a road claims that you can operate uh, in between the transmitter and the receiver. Uh, I'm also going to go a little behind just to check how far along uh, can we get sound clarity going on. I'm at 100 meters away from the uh, which exceeds 30 meters from the updated range uh, by road. There's a slight disturbance. Uh, in fact, there's, uh, uh, there's a good amount of disturbance uh, uh, here and uh, you might not probably be able to catch uh, every word of what I've been saying. Uh, but until about 90 meters, it was perfect. So there you are. We've uh, successfully tested the range for you a whopping uh, 100 meters uh, though transmission at that level or at that distance can be a little choppy but uh, exceedingly well till about 90 meters way above the official range. Now we've been using uh, this fantastic device for a while now and on the basis of our usage there are some things that we've uncovered which we think you should know uh, and that will be very very useful for you. So first of all, these uh, two very funny looking bunny tail like uh, windproof uh, shields. Uh, they're very badly designed. They don't really actually fit in very well on the microphone and they tend to fall off every now and then, uh, making it very, very difficult for you to be able to do outdoor shoots. Now, Rode claims that you could get a battery life of up to seven hours on each of these devices. Uh, but in our assessment, we found that you would get no more than about five to six hours, which is not a bad thing exactly, but we want to be able to tell you uh, what we felt. And finally, uh, the, the device is clip type. As you can see, the clip is super strong, very nicely built. The build quality is impressive and you'll need to clip it on to your collar like, uh, like this. But because the device is slightly heavier, it tends to sag forward uh, and that can be a little irritating. So the Rode uh, Wireless Go microphone is available for you to buy on Amazon and on Flipkart. We paid about 19 and a half thousand rupees for it, which we think is great value for money, especially for the product quality and the fantastic output. So if you're looking for something that's easy to use, because obviously it's wireless, of great quality, and something that you want to fall back upon as your primary microphone, we certainly recommend the Rode Go Wireless. So that's it folks. If you think this video has been useful, don't forget to like, to share and to subscribe to our channel. Also, please follow us on social media, comments in the description below. We'd love to hear from you, send us your feedback and we'd love to discuss that in our videos to come. We look forward to getting back with the video very soon.